in my book, Forgive to Win, I talk about self-sabotaging behaviors. And uh, it's interesting because I gave the book to uh, one of my patients recently, and uh, and he said he didn't think he had self-sabotaging behaviors. And, and so then he started reading uh, the, my book, and like one chapter, it just lists like every single type of self-sabotaging behaviors. And he said, holy moly, it's unbelievable. I'm sabotaging myself right and left. I never... I always thought that these were uh, that, that 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 I wasn't doing that, or that these were not significant. But the, he recognized that these were s- sabotaging behaviors, and uh, and that uh, they were getting in his way. Uh, so we have a lot of sabotaging behaviors, and and what makes them sabotaging is is that the behavior gets in the way of what we say we want, right? So if you say you want to, you know, be thin and lean and mean and look good and be fit. Meantime, you're you you know you you you're at Dunkin' Donuts knocking down a, a box of cronuts, you know, and the most exercise you get is uh, you know, is walking to the refrigerator. Uh, yeah, that's self sabotaging. That you you know your your actions are are getting in the way of the, of of what you want in life. You know, if you say uh, you want a you know a loving, sustainable a wonderful relationship, yet, yet you uh, keep on picking people who are self-centered, uh, sociopathic, abusive, uh, inconsiderate, unloving, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it's self-sabotaging to hang with those people. If you want love, you don't hang around people who are full of hate and anger and, and abuse. Uh, you know, if you want uh, to feel fulfilled in your job, you don't stay in a dead end job because they've got a good uh, benefit uh, package. If you want more money, uh, you don't stay in a job that has no uh, that there's no way you'll ever get beyond a minimum wage, and and you're just hoping that seven years from now they'll raise the minimum wage another twelve cents. You got to take action, and if you don't take action, uh, that's self sabotaging. It's self sabotaging. Uh, you know, when you watch uh, too much TV or play too many video games to the exclusion of, you know, brushing your teeth and going to work, you know, or, or studying for uh, an exam or reading a book. Uh, it, there's so many ways we sabotage ourselves. And, and uh, one of the ways, right, you sabotage, we sabotage ourselves if we, uh, you know, over overuse and abuse uh, substances. So like drinking, having a beer or a glass of wine, having a shot or two is fine. But if you're knocking down four or five a night, uh, you know, you got a problem. And, and it's probably getting in the way of your life and your relationships and your health and all sorts of things. So it's self-sabotaging. Same thing with doing drugs. If you, you know, if you like smoking marijuana to relax and kick, kick back, uh, but you do it every day and night, you know, and you end up like being in a total fog and forgetting, you know, where you put your keys. Uh, no good. No good. Particularly with drugs, uh, alcohol, TV, video games, Facebook. Moderation is key. Uh, you spend all your time doing something uh, fully for recreation or, or pleasure uh, to the exclusion of other important things in your life. You're sabotaging yourself. A subtler form of, of sabotage is uh, is being late, being late for an appointment, being late for work. Obviously, you're late for work a lot. That's self sabotaging because eventually uh, you may get written up and uh, and fired. Uh, being late for appointments it can be self sabotaging because uh, even though you may have a good excuse, uh, the usual one is that oh I got stuck in traffic. You know, I got stuck in traffic, uh, so I'm sorry I'm late. You know, or the the, the dog ate my uh, homework, uh, so I had to redo it again, and so I could uh, I was late. You know what I mean? We have all of our excuses, but uh, we have all of our excuses. But being late for meetings can be can be really catastrophic sabotage because uh, it people oftentimes, even if you have a good excuse, they see that as a sign of disrespect. They see it in a way that you're disrespecting yourself if you can't keep your commitments and show up on time. That uh, that 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 it shows some some degree of indifference or sloppiness, and 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 they see it as disrespecting them. And so then they're going to want to do business with you. 
if you if they perceive you as unreliable, they're going to want to hire you. If they perceive you as tardy and unreliable and irresponsible, you know, late one time, okay. Uh, I wouldn't want to be for a first impression, but uh, but when you're repeatedly late, if it's a pattern in your life, you're sabotaging yourself, and you need to recognize that, and you need to stop doing it. You need to stop doing it. And the way you stop doing it is first you catch yourself in the sloppy behavior and you correct it. In terms of being late for stuff, if you're always late and because something comes up at the last minute, then factor in time uh, to, to deal with the thing that comes up for the la in the last minute. If you're going to, be, if you anticipate that there's going to be traffic, even if you don't anticipate there's going to be traffic, allow like extra time for traffic. Allow extra time for the unexpected. Allow extra time for somebody, a family member, or, some, or getting a phone call that's important and you having to deal with it. You know, give yourself more time. It's better to be early than late. You're early for an appointment. You've got your phone. You can play your games. You can browse the internet. You know, you can tweet something awful to to somebody. It's uh, it's all good. Uh, so, uh, so factor in the time, pay attention, figure out how to not be late, figure out how to not sabotage yourself. And when you stop sabotaging yourself, all these different sabotaging behaviors, when you stop doing them uh, and you start, you know, basically it's an indication that you love yourself, that you care, care for yourself, that you believe you're, you're worthy of happiness and abundance and success. And then the universe responds. Then you see people responding to you in a better way. Then you see opportunities showing up rather than uh, potholes and obstacles and pitfalls in your path. It works that way. That's how the law of attraction works. Like the, the more together you are, uh, you know, the more consistent you are with the goals you want, uh, as opposed to sabotaging behaviors which are contrary to the goals you want, the more the universe will work with you uh, and you will feel better and have a better life. I guarantee it.